So I thought I would be like fiscally responsible, right? And buy Starbucks vanilla latte from the store because they have it like in a bottle at the grocery store. The bottle's like this big and it costs like, what, five, six bucks at the commissary. So I bought it and um, the latte from Starbucks definitely tastes better. Well played, Starbucks. Well played. Hello there friends and welcome back to the Lemonade Stand or welcome if you are new. My name is Brianna. I'm a certified personal trainer, a big huge biology nerd and a registered dietitian to B. To be exact, I'm currently a dietetic intern. Today we're here for episode 10 of my ongoing series, True Science. In this series, I combine my love of science with my interest in true crime. Here we talk about everything from doctors that turned out to be frauds, bizarre medical phenomenon, mad scientists, and everything in between. Today, I'm going to tell you all the story of how a family of scammers exploited people's fears of a global pandemic, sold them a fake cure, and wound up in federal prison. Before we proceed, if you love science-based health, wellness, and fitness education, with some lulls and lots of dry soul crushing sarcasm along the way, why not hit that subscribe button and join the lemonade stand because I would surely love to have you here. And without anything more, let's make some lemonade. Speaking of lemonade, I'm surrounded by a couple beverages right now that you guys can't see. So this first one, like I said, is the uh, Starbucks vanilla latte. And then here I have my daily sustenance. This is actually kind of a cocktail of water. On TikTok, the kids call this water talk, but I don't like that. I don't like that they're appropriating my water cocktails. This is a flat water, a splash of Trader Joe's raspberry lime flavored sparkling water, a splash of their pomegranate green tea, and a splash of my favorite pink lemonade. I'm so extra. So let's set the scene. Back in the late 1990s, a man named Jim Humble was in Guyana mining gold and a couple of his crew members became sick with malaria. Malaria is a disease that is caused by a parasite of the genus Plasmodium. It attacks the red blood cells, robbing them of oxygen and slowly killing you if left untreated. Mosquitoes are the vectors for this parasite and they spread it through their bites to humans if the mosquito was infected with the parasite. So I guess instead of taking his buddies to, I don't know, a doctor, Jim thought, let's play chemist and see what happens. As the story goes, he mixed sodium chloride with water, gave it to a sick crew, and apparently within hours, they were back to their normal selves. Just laughing, working, and enjoying life. And from that miracle mineral solution, AKA MMS, was born. So Jimmy Boy knew that he had to share his creation with the world. Because if it can cure malaria, of course it can cure things like cancer or AIDS. Yes, because those diseases are totally physiologically comparable. So what about MMS? Cause that's really what this whole thing is about. What you guys need to know about MMS is when the sodium chloride is combined with water and some distributors instruct actually mixing it with the citric acid like lemon juice and then ingest it, it becomes what is essentially an industrial bleach solution and people are drinking it. What the f Basically, it's a super strong cleaning solution that you shouldn't really consume. So why were people drinking MMS? Well. Let me tell you. So remember the original creator of MMS, Jim Humble, and how he cured his buddy's malaria? From there, MMS as a product has had many iterations and has passed through many hands in terms of distribution and marketing. From my research online, people who believe in this stuff and promote it basically think it can cure everything. Diabetes, autism, cancer, HIV, AIDS, the flu, hepatitis. Now, in case you haven't figured it out yet, none of this is proven by science. And in fact, the United States Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has been warning people for years not to drink this stuff. And they've gotten plenty of reports of people being made sick, even dying by consuming this junk. So clearly science left the chat for like a minute. And when she came back, these motherfuckers were drinking bleach. So let's fast forward to like a couple years ago. So we could talk more about the story of Jim Humble and how MMS has kind of passed through several hands in terms of like marketing and stuff like that, like I said. But today we're going to highlight one individual, or should I say group of people today? Because as of filming this video today, November 1st, 2023, there has been a very recent criminal conviction surrounding the shilling of MMS. Allow me to introduce to you Mark Grennan. In 2010, Mark Grennan co-founded the Genesis 2 Church of Healing. Now it was operated as a church on the surface, but really it was just an undercover way for Mark and his crew to market and distribute MMS without any legal repercussions. And if you just heard that and that doesn't make any sense to you, um, it's important to understand that here in the United States where I and many of my viewers live, um, I'm explaining this for those who might not know, who might not live in the US, churches and religious institutions have a lot of legal um, protections. And that's how they can kind of sometimes skirt around 
around the law because if they do anything questionable, then they can argue religious freedom because here in the United States, that is a constitutional right. So that's how Mark's church, Genesis 2, Church of Healing could kind of skirt around the law and sell this stuff. It's because they were masquerading around as a religious institution, a church. So they were in a way, kind of above the law. And this is not my speculation, you guys. Mark Grennan has acknowledged this and said this publicly. Grennan has freely admitted their Genesis 2 Church of Healing to avoid arrest. So I said, let's call it the Genesis 2 Church. And we said, you gotta do this, folks, or you're gonna go to jail. You can't arrest us from doing one of our sacraments. It was not just Mark in on this. Oh no, this was a family affair. Mark's sons, Jonathan Grennan, age 36, Jordan Grennan, age 28, and Joseph Grennan, age 34, were all involved in this as well. They all took part in the manufacturing, marketing, and distribution of MMS. They held services in which they made all kinds of egregious health claims about what MMS can do. This includes, but is not limited to, curing uh, some of the diseases that I mentioned before. And one source I found on justice.gov discusses this case in detail and is actually the main source I use for researching for this video. Apparently the Genesis 2 Church of Healing also said that MMS can treat Alzheimer's disease, herpes, and in more recent years, COVID-19. And the family falsely promoted MMS as a cure to the coronavirus. The coronavirus is curable. Do you believe it? You better. Now, if you've been around here for a while, we saw a lot of this on my channel at the height of and in the wake of the global parallelogram. It was wellness influencers, it was MLM representatives shilling some unproven dietary supplement or product as a treatment or cure for DIVIC-19. For those of you who don't know, DIVIC is how I codename this word when I have to say it a bunch of times in a video. You've probably seen it before. I did some video a while ago about worms or something like that. I had to do it before. And I don't know about you guys, but I hate to see it. Can I just say, I am not mad at somebody making a genuine hustle for themselves. Be self-made, start a business. I love that for you. But building an empire by making people believe lies and exploiting them is nothing short of disgusting and exploitative. It's manipulative, it's fraudulent, and I wish more influencers and scam alike would face more consequences and repercussions for um, not only selling lies to people who are vulnerable, but products that can be dangerous for people to use as well, like MMS. So at the height of the parallelogram, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch were slinging MMS left and right, promising it would treat, prevent, and cure DIVIC-19. This is a big no-no because A, it was not proven conclusively that it could do that, and B, another reminder that MMS is dangerous for human consumption. Hello. So how they sold MMS was through their now defunct and shut down website. However, remember Genesis 2 Church of Healing was a church, so they couldn't actually sell anything. But what did happen was you could donate some money to the organization and then for your donation, you would get a little bottle of MMS or I don't know how they did it. According to court documents, the Grennans made well over a million dollars selling MMS to desperate and ill-informed people. So in April of 2020, the FDA issued an injunction, AKA warning against the Genesis 2 Church of Healing. The FDA basically told them to cut the shit and stop saying that their MMS was a cure for DIVIC and gave them 48 hours to correct their violations. Fast forward to a few months later in July of 2020 in Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch had not stopped their shenanigans. Next thing the Grennans knew, the FDA, as well as other government agencies, descended upon their home in Bradenton, Florida, decked out in hazmat suits and confiscated all their products. Items they confiscated consisted of 50 gallons of muriatic acid, 22 gallons of miracle mineral solution, and 8,300 pounds of sodium chloride. So Mark and his church were also ordered to reach out to everybody who had bought MMS and basically tell them that the product had been unlawfully distributed. <laughs> what an awkward conversation that probably was. So let's fast forward again to this past summer of 2023 and their trial was held. So during the trial, photos and videos of the Grennan's home were shown, which depicted imagery of a filthy gross shed in Jonathan, one of the son's backyards, where they were making the MMS solution. Two of the Grennan's sons were arrested after a raid on the family's Florida property, where federal agents seized thousands of bottles of MMS and stacks of cash. This photo shown to jurors this week shows rodent droppings on the floor of the shed 
where the Grenons were producing their so-called cure. The photos also showed a bunch of those big blue chemical drums, which contained the sodium chloride powder, as well as other things that they used to make the MMS. Also on those drums, which were shown uh, to the jury during trial, were giant warning labels advising how dangerous sodium chloride solution was to consume. So after all that was said and done, a federal jury found Mark and his three badass kids guilty of, quote, conspiracy to defraud the United States by distributing an unapproved and misbranded drug, end quote. Also, Jonathan and Jordan Grennan were found guilty of contempt of court. That contempt charge actually stems from a case that the United States had previously filed against the church, which the U.S. actually got a court order to completely shut down the Grennan's operation. The Grennan's, quote, willfully violated end quote, that order and continue to sell MMS solution anyway. Also, they threatened the judge that was presiding over that case and said that if the government attempted to enforce the aforementioned court order cutting their operation, they would, quote, pick up guns, end quote, and bring about, quote, a Waco. End quote. For those of you who don't know, I'm sure that that was likely a reference to um, what happened in Waco, Texas back in the early 1990s. There was a huge violent uh, standoff between state and federal law enforcement and a religious cult that had taken hold of a compound in Waco, Texas. The cult was the Branch Davidians and their leader was David Koresh and around 75 people died in total. So not a great thing to say to a, the federal judge that's presiding over your court case. <laughs> October 6, 2023 was the family's sentencing. Jonathan and Jordan Grennan were sentenced to about 12 and a half years and Mark and Joseph Grennan were sentenced to five years. All of their sentences are to be completed in federal prison. Don't drop the soap guys. So I guess, I mean, I'm sure you guys can probably already, you know, ascertain my thoughts here. But just to sum up my thoughts here, I think these sentences are richly deserved. And like I already said before, I personally wish that more people like the Grennans were held accountable for spreading dangerous misinformation and spreading lies to people who are vulnerable and desperate. If you regularly watch this series, you've seen it before. We've seen this before in this series. Some of the most desperate and vulnerable people are the people who just want to cure and just want to feel better. It's deplorable, it's despicable, and it's just foul that people like Mark Grennan exist to take advantage of them. So I have to say, and I'm sure it doesn't surprise any of you that I'm condemning this stuff, obviously. Don't drink MMS. <laughs> but I be remiss if I didn't mention, if you go to the comment section under a YouTube video condemning Mark Grennan or Jim Humble or just an educational video about why drinking MMS is dangerous, the comments section is a wild scene. <laughs> People saying stuff like, don't fall for big pharma, this stuff cured my arthritis, it cured my cancer, my this, my that. The media is lying to you, they want to keep you sick, MMS saved my life. Oh my god, it's... It's insane. It's insane, the stuff that people buy into. It's sad, really. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. Remember to stay educated, always have a healthy dose of skepticism, and most of all, stay hungry for knowledge. If you made it to this point in the video, do me a favor and comment, latte. Oh my God, Starbucks holiday menu. On the day that I'm filming this, they're about to drop their holiday menu in like two days. I am so freaking excited. That's not relevant to my video at all. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate your views and engagement and support during this time. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content similar to this, hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Queen Lemon over and out. My camera's like on its last leg. Let's see if I can get you guys some puppies before my camera dies. Oh, hello. You guys are so tired. What are you tired from? Hmm? What are you tired from? Zeus, would you like to make a public statement about how hard your life is? Oh no, nothing to say? Hmm. How very classy of you. Alpha, would you like to make a public statement? Hmm? Onyx, do you have anything to say? Onyx, you and your brother were at daycare the other day. You guys were very good boys at daycare. Do you have anything to say? No. Look at that baby. Look at the hippo. The precious little hippo. She's like, leave me alone. Honix always lays like a cat on the couch.